What? Well, fine, I quit. We can't hook up a trailer for crap, man. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. I'll hook up all your trailers for you. Love you. This will never happen again, ever. Stephen Cox YouTube channel sponsored by VMAC Air Compressor. Air when you need it. Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Cox and welcome to my shop. Today's project, I'm gonna be installing a new radio in my 2001 F-350 service truck. I've owned this truck for several years and when I first bought it, I bought a cheap Amazon radio called uh, Boss is the brand and it was terrible. Uh, in its defense, it did everything that it was supposed to do, but the volume is awful on it. It just barely gets enough volume to hear it going down the road and this truck is a work truck, so there's no insulation inside or sound deadening or hardly any, so it's freaking loud running down the road air noise and whatnot the boss radio surprisingly the Bluetooth is perfect never had a problem with the Bluetooth it hooks up with my phone every single time I've never had to disable the Bluetooth or anything like that I'll show you guys the radio but right now the radio is dead that's why I got another one so this is it um, nothing really fancy to see it was a touch screen these worked these look like buttons but they're not this is for your usb or auxiliary input or whatever but it was just a cheap hundred dollar radio so it served its purpose for several years and i'm going to be installing this a toto a tato i don't know how you say the name i don't really care um a6 pro head units this is a double den head unit the spot on my truck is for a double den unit and it should be a plug and play deal i'm also going to install their 360 degree backup camera instead of the view just coming through here just a backup camera they actually have a way that uses the camera and can build a field of view around your vehicle and a um, pretty neat feature so i'm going to install both of these in the truck i did reach out to a toto and ask them about if i could review one of these and they sent this to me so a little disclaimer there they did send this to me for a review but they have really good reviews online and really good reviews on youtube so should be a fantastic unit let's find out so the first thing we have to do is take off this trim panel which just pops out i'm gonna use this tool i've had this tool for a little while it's matcc it's a little trim panel removal tool comes with all of these things and we're gonna use this one And now we need to take out these screws that I jerry-rigged in here. And they should just slide right out. Disconnect our connector in the back. And the radio is out. So this is a new head unit. Doesn't look that fancy when it's off, but there's a couple things I need to do before I install this. One, I need to wire in our new harness adapter. I'll just, um, this is an aftermarket one. I'll cut all the wires here, wire them into the new harness. I also need to install the reverse camera module in here in the dash, figure out where I'm gonna mount it and run the wire into it. I need to install this control box for single camera panoramic parking system somewhere underneath the dash here. And I have a couple of wires I need to run different places. Fortunately, they're all labeled very well. This one is 
remote control receiver. This one goes to the video in the back of the radio. This white one is for the reverse detecting wire. And these are our power wires. Something kind of cool about the power wires is they're just little guys that plug right on top of the fuse. I don't know if that's going to be a good connection or not, but should be all right. And to connect it, I'm just going to put this double-sided sticky tape on here and then stick it somewhere under the dash. I think this area right here is going to be perfect. So I need to mount my camera right above my license plate, right about there. But I'm gonna have to drill a hole through the bumper so the wire can go through. And I'm just gonna use a standard um, step drill. Now, as you can tell, I had some uh, boo-boos there where I snapped one off, but it's okay. I just put it up a little higher and got it mounted. Now, I'm going to leave that little plastic piece on there until I make absolutely sure everything works. And I'm going to get up underneath the truck and zip tie that cord up towards the cab and then run the other cord from inside the cab down through the floor. And I'll show you guys where I decide to uh, either drill a hole and put a grommet or go through an existing grommet. So one of the issues I've always had installing backup cameras on service trucks is that they never send you enough RCA cable. So you have to end up using a extension cable. It's like three feet, six feet. Oddly enough, the four pin wire connector, the wire that comes with that camera in the back was absolutely perfect length for this truck to route it where I did. So that's the cable right there. Hooked up the B side with B side. Got my fuses connected for my backup camera module. Now all I have to do is install the radio itself. Well, try number two. I forgot that I stole the radio out of my uh, dash the other day. A relay. All right. Let's see. There he goes. Go here to home. I'm gonna go to settings. All right. I'll put my foot on the brake. Put it in reverse. I think it has to be started. I'm gonna play with this for a minute and try to get the uh, reverse camera to work. Well, all right, so we got the radio installed. It took a little bit longer than I expected because I had a fixed problem with the truck. Uh, mainly my idiot self pulling the wrong relay out and forgetting that I ever pulled the relay out. Uh, but the other boss radio, this one was bad. That's the reason I pulled that relay out because I wasn't using it and I forgot about it. But I'm gonna show you guys why I installed this in the first place. And that's the reason. So if you can tell when I backed up on this side over here, it actually had a picture that it showed over here what was next to the vehicle. It takes 
footage from out, the outside of the camera and lines it up. But right now it'll stay on because I have it wired into my reverse lights and my reverse lights are wired into the work lights on the back of the truck. So I can actually turn it on and then drive forward if I need to. You can tell when I start backing up again, I'll turn it off. All right, so I put it in reverse. Now if you watch this area right over here, it'll start building an image file of what the surroundings look like. Kind of neat. Be pretty practical in a um, parking lot, something like that. Now I'm gonna have to play this a little bit to kind of get used to my camera and my trailer setup. I think these lines are gonna be an issue. So I'll go up here, I'll turn that off. Try it again. Yeah, that looks better. I think the camera is tilted a little bit. Right there. And this thing's an Android, so you can actually get on a Play Store and download anything that you want to it, as far as the app. I don't have a Bluetooth adapter right now. I just ordered one, but you can actually run the Torque Pro app and get live data and put your little uh, dash display on here. And that's what I'm planning on doing. Use Google Maps. If you use Google Maps, you have to sign in and you can download Google Maps offline. So something else that I was looking forward to on this, the main reason I wanted the, this setup is because of that reverse camera. I hook up to a lot of trailers and I've gotten pretty good at backing the truck up against trailers, but it just comes in handy. And guys, that service truck is 22 feet long. I just measured it. It's 182, 187 inches, something like that. And you just never know exactly what's behind you. So adding a backup camera to any service truck to me is a safety deal. I always try to talk every company I ever worked in worked at doing it but if you guys would like to copy that setup if that's the name of the the brand it's a a tato a toto whatever a six that is the pro version that's the part number right there and if you want that reverse camera setup that is a part number there there'll be a link down in the description for that if you guys want to buy that from the amazon link Remember, if you buy a you know, purchase from the Amazon link, it, I get a little residual off that. It helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you a dime, doesn't mark it up or anything. It's a fantastic way for me to make a little extra cash and you to help out with the channel and not have to spend any money. I uh, hope you liked the video. It's not my normal repair video, but you guys, a lot of you guys are curious about the service truck and what all is in the service truck and done to the service truck. And there's a bunch of people out there that love the service truck videos. And I appreciate it because I like working on my service truck. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and get out and fix something.